Today I'm going to work on one fatal flaw in the Saab design. My trunk has stopped working and one of the things that the trunk does is it has, the wiring has got the backup tail lights, it's got the automatic uh, button on the inside of the car and my key fob have both stopped working for opening the trunk and then there are a number of other things that are uh, involved in the wires and as you can see here in the wires they make a they make a curve when they go into the car and I've got a number of wires that are broken now. I think I just need to splice the wires. In order to access the wires, I'm going to remove the I'm going to remove this plastic membrane here and you can see it leads down leads down to here and then go inside of the trunk. Inside there is a hatch here open the hatch and that's where the um, that's where I'm going to access the wire panels and I'm going to unhook everything so that I can get to it and then up above I haven't done it yet but where it leads in I know that the wires go up inside and then they loop up around inside so I'm going to remove the plastic um, cover here and access all the wires inside I just want to show you here where I've pulled out the wires. Um, they were back in this compartment and they'll look like this. To pull the wires out and because I never have tools, I don't have the right um, star bit to remove the handle here so I've torn out the, the lining all around it and I'll show you where everything is. Here's the uh, conclusion of the wires. I'm going to go ahead and unclip them so that I can remove them and fix it in the house. Uh, so there's that one side and then here's the rest of it. And so again starting where they break, coming up down in there and then it loops up and it goes under here and straight to that other side. I'm working ahead of myself here. I went ahead and stripped the wires with a wire stripper and these happen to be 20 gauge um, stranded so I'm gonna go ahead and keep doing this and see if maybe I don't have to remove the cables to replace them. Alright, I've shredded the uh, plastic from the wires, the rubber, and based on the issues that I'm having with my trunk I'm gonna tell you these three wires. The black wire with the white stripe is the the latch on the inside of the car that opens the trunk the black wire with no stripe is going to be the latch that opens the trunk from your key fob. And then the blue wire, one of, well, it's the only blue wire. I'm going to assume has something to do with the backup lights because that's another issue going wrong. But I have a few crimps in the system here. But um, I'm going to use these to connect them the butt connectors. Um, I'm just going to put them in each side, crimp the middle, and then heat shrink them once I get them in. There are a couple of these white clips that you have to pull out also. Oops, I pulled too hard. I'm going to have to put this back in. There's another clip down in the center, and then if you follow the wires, there's one up. Well, let's see where it is. I guess I can't really show you, but it leads up to um, underneath there. Does that show you anything? There we go. That's where it leads to. So I'll unclip that one as well. So I backtracked all my steps and I have everything clipped back into place. And unfortunately I had to break all, almost all of the pins for the cover on the trunk. So that's just going to have to stay as it is. You can see that I've got the heat shrink on all of the broken ones now and I've put them back into place and since I'm a person with no tools I know some of you might ask and I'll just tell you now I used an open flame to get the to get the heat shrink on and you can see that it's in here pretty good and um, so I I made sure I shrunk it down and then I crimped it on harder so that's it now hopefully everything will work and it'll stay like this for a long time and I think I'm gonna cover it with some duct tape to give it a little more rigidity. Let's see if it worked. Ah, can you hear that sound? It worked. Wonderful.